What's up, everybody? This is Conrad Evan, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Card Unboxing. This is episode number three, one, two, and three. And today's episode, I will be opening up a Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze little blister pack from Walmart. It's got the holographic antenna and the coin right there. And I will also be opening up this Darkness Ablaze pack with Pikachu on the front. And hopefully we're going to get some good stuff out of that. And last but not least, we will also be fully opening up this guy right here, which I found at Walmart already ripped open. Right, everybody. We're going to start with the Sun and Moon Trainer kit since I believe this came out much earlier than the Darkness Ablaze since that came out just this year. And since this is already open, might as well take it out. Look at that. Super simple. And what comes with this is basically how to play the game. It shows you a whole bunch of fun stuff, but we're going to set that to the side for now. Well, it looks like I should have checked a little bit closer. This deck is gone. It was definitely taken out, and that is my own fault. So, at least you can get the code card, and we will open up these guys. Okay, now that I have opened up these cards, let's take a look. I'm not going to do a card trick because there's a lot of them here. So we got the Alolan Raichu, we've got Pikachu, which makes a whole lot of sense. We got a whole bunch of energy. We have Toga Tomaru, Great Ball, which is always necessary, more energy. We got How, Trainer Card, Drowsy, another Great Ball, another energy. Another, ooh, look at that. We got Beware. This guy is very interesting. I've been waiting to get this card just because it's such a strange but powerful Pokemon in the anime. So, fun to have this guy. We've got a non-hollow Alolan Raichu. Little Grubbin. I'm assuming he's probably Caterpie's cousin. Got our potion, another Pikachu, Spiro, some more energy, Zubat, a whole bunch of electric energy, Golbat, evolution of Zubat, got more energy, Stuffle, and there's the more energy. Let's break into the other one and see what else we got. Okay, we are back with our other deck of the Sun and Moon Trainer Kit with the holographic Lycanroc set you to the side with Rockruff and the Rockruff Energy and the big Malasada, which I would like to have right now because I am very, very hungry. We'll put that guy over there. More energy. Great ball. More energy. We've got our trainer how. We have two cannon. I just pulled this from another deck, but it was holographic. So this is a slightly less exciting, but still very, very fruit loopy. So we'll put that guy there. Another great ball. Energy. How again? Makuhita. Energy, another Lycanroc, non-shiny this time. Picky Peck, this is my first one of these, another bird. And then we have another Rock Ruff, Fletch Finder. Interesting bird there. Young Goose again, not Old Goose. Fletchling, another bird to add to the family, and a whole bunch more energy. Trumbeak, 
I'm assuming that that is an evolution of one of those many, many birds. More energy, and last but not least, the saddest caterpie that you've ever seen. And this is definitely a gratuitous picture of myself right now for not checking the contents of this box before purchasing it. On to the next one. We are back with the first Darkness Ablaze pack with the Hatena. And I got this at Walmart, so I'm hoping that there's something pretty good in here since uh, just by looking at this pack and feeling the heftiness, the weight of this pack, I feel that there's something very, very good. In Here we go. We have Bird Keeper, a very necessary card for us. We got Soul Rock, the heat of the sun in my hand. Put that guy there. Relicanth. This is a Pokemon that I still do not have in Pokemon Go because it's in like Indonesia, somewhere over there, and I haven't found anybody to trade it. So if you have Relicanth and are in the Orange County area, I will be putting my trainer code right there at the bottom. So please add me and trade me a Relicanth, please. Okay, on to the next one. Torchic, another very hot, heat-oriented Pokemon. Trapinch, something that I would like to never see again. Jigglypuff, I don't mind you as much, but um, definitely I'm not playing this, this Pokemon in Super Smash Brothers. Ducklet, flapping it. Flappy Bird. Did you ever play that game? Anyone ever play Flappy Bird? I don't know. I think I played it for like two days and then my phone decided that the game was not having it or the phone wasn't having it. I'm not sure. It didn't work out for me though. Kara Blast. Continuous Headbutt. That is something that my cat does to me on a daily basis or should I say morningly basis because that's usually when I get headbutt because he wants food. And look at what we got. I wanted a Relicanth in the Pokemon Go game, and they gave me another one. This time, a Reverse Hollow Relicanth. Look at that. Well, I guess I, I got what I wanted, right? Sort of, in some way. And this Pokemon, Volcarona. Wow, that is very interesting looking Pokemon. I'm not really sure where it's body starts or ends, but there's just fire all over the place. And that right there is the rare of this deck. And now we have our green energy, which is melted away. On to the last pack. Whoosh. All right, here we go. This is the last pack of the video. Let's hope that there's something good inside. And please don't be a relicant now. Okay, here we go, everyone. I put the Pikachu in a nice little sleeve to protect it. The tail whip and Pika Bolt. Not a Peekaboo, a Pika Bolt. Second Darkness Ablaze pack for the video. And it feels a little hefty in there. I think we're gonna get something good. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it because I am really good at jinxing it. And I also hope this is not a jinx card. And we are back with the deck opened. There's the code card. Let's move a few of these over. And we will start with the cards. Are you serious? Relicanth, what are you doing? Fossil search, I've searched far and wide for you and I still don't have it. Now I have three in the same video. What am I doing with my life? Okay. Now we got Zuelos. Zuelos? All I know is that it's related to Dino. Dano? Man, I don't know. But I do know that I do not want to be corkscrew punched by absolutely anything. So we'll set you over to the side. Now, we have the familiar bell. 
However, I am not familiar with this bell because this is the first time I have seen it because I haven't opened a Pokemon card in about 20 years, besides the other ones that I did in the last couple weeks. So we'll put you over here. And we have Pansage. Look how happy Pansage looks. I would like some sage advice. Don't open another pack with a relicant in it. Golet. Now, this one is pretty cool. I like Golet. I got one the other day. I'm actually pretty happy about this card because, well, maybe not as much. It could be the evolution of it and it could be shiny, but let's move on. Vanillite. Sounds like Vanna White, Wheel of Fortune. It's been like 35 years of that show, and she's still pressing numbers. I also don't know what's going on outside my window. Hopefully you didn't hear whatever that was. Trap Inch, I told you to get away from me. Why are you still here? Teddy Ursa, you're okay. I guess you're fine. Oh. Now we have the Reverse Hollow Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. The supporter card. Now that is quite the artwork there. It looks so fun. They look like little pugs or Pomeranians or something like that. Let's move on. I think there's something good back here. Is it good? Is it good? Look at that. Now that is the Eternatus V card. Wow. Look at that guy. It just looks like a spaceship. Dynamax Cannon and Power Accelerator. It's like Tron's cousin or something like that. But wow, look at that guy. Look at that. Now this is definitely the best pull of the day. No question about that. And then we got some fire energy. But uh, yeah, this card is fire, if you want to talk about it that way. If that is the adjective that you would like to give Eternatus V, that's perfectly fine with me. I did not mean to rhyme that. But thank you so much for letting me pull this card because I was getting really down on myself. But thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Poke Gods. And you for watching because I pulled the Eternatus V card out of the second Darkness Ablaze pack from Walmart, and it was the Pikachu one, and usually Pikachu brings me pretty good luck. So I'm very happy about this, and I am happy that you, the viewer, the audience, the friend, the subscriber, are here with me watching me open Pokemon cards. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, leave a comment down there, and if you're ever so inclined, hit that little subscribe button down there for more videos because I will be uploading a whole bunch more at least three times a week. I'm very happy about my polls today and I have a lot more Pokemon cards to open. So stay tuned, stay safe, go Pokemon, and Pokemon Go. Thanks so much.